Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, there it is. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get to where I can swallow, oh, but I don't know if my body going to let me swallow. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Rhett and Link. They're the web's most beloved comedy duo. You know them from Buddy System on YouTube, Red, and as the host of Good Mythical Morning, now entering its 14th season. Rhett and Link, welcome to the show. Thank you, yeah, Sean. Glad to be here. Well, I'm not glad to be here. Just, we're here. Glad to be with you. I appreciate it. It's good to see you guys again because last time we hung out, we ate the world's hottest curry at Brick Lane. Yeah. What do you guys remember Don't about bring how it the up. rest of your day went? It was horrible. Uh, we actually went out to eat at a restaurant that we have, we since went back to to relive this memory. It was better when you hadn't eaten the world's hottest curry beforehand. And I told Link, I was like, you know what? I think I gotta go use the restroom. I didn't see or hear him in the restroom. And then I came back out. I'm like, where's Rhett? And then he comes out slowly, like this slow walk. He had been in the restroom the entire time. Didn't respond to me when I went in there and said, it's gonna be a rough night for you. <laughs> Cause, Cause I, knew where hit he, me I knew where he was head. You guys ready to ruin another evening? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You, Sean, All right. yes. So this one is the Howler Monkey. I'm sorry, I was doing this when you, That's were, good. Trying when to you were talking. You bullfighting over there? It's nice, just a little hint of spice. Mm -hmm. So we've had similar pathways into eating weird food for the internet. I always joke that I didn't choose the spice life, the spice life chose me, and I've heard you guys say similar things about running with the taste test format. Do you remember the first time you ever had to use the barf bucket on camera? It had to have been with Will It Taco, probably. I mean, when it was just slabs of congealed pork blood in a taco shell. I didn't get that. You know what, I didn't, there's no way I got that you didn't, no I've way. never gotten congealed blood down. Which of the following would you never eat again? A congealed blood sandwich, a scorpion, a Carolina Reaper. Oh, gosh. Well, scorpion's easy. I, I just ate another one of those a few, within the past hour. Legitimately, he did. <laughs> if I'm presented with a scorpion, I'll just eat it because it's, 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 it's like eating a seashell, actually. It's just that crunchy and tasteless. I mean, the Carolina Reaper, the aftermath it was catastrophic. Was uh, I mean, 13 hours later, he was still in the fetal position on a couch. And it came in waves. It was just whenever my stomach would, like, digest a little more, turn over, I could feel it was like a different part of my stomach lining was exposed to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just, had to, you just had to lock down and endure it. There's not, nothing that can be done. When you guys look at how the taste test genre has exploded, when are you proud to be a part of that evolution, and when do you roll your eyes? <laughs> That's a good I, question. I appreciate that question. Uh, most of the thumbnails kind of make us roll our eyes, but they work. I mean, we cover it and then we show it to you. It's not just about frenetic pacing and, and making stupid facial expressions, which, I mean, I'm guilty of uh, one of those at least. <laughs> yeah. Heartbeat sauce. That's got like a, almost like a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. There's a little sweetness in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. I feel it in my heart. So in 2011, you guys launched a series, Commercial Kings, where you traveled the country and did these local commercials for small businesses. Do you have any success stories that you're proud of? Did a business ever triple its sales after their commercial or anything like that? I mean, one of the first commercials we made... Well, maybe I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> Chuck Testa... What the Chuck, tax is that the, the taxidermist? We made him a commercial, and then he he started his own YouTube channel. So he really leaned into his meme. Yeah, he, he did. Totally did. You probably thought this zebra was alive. No, Chuck Testa. You know the crossover between people who like internet videos and memes like Chuck Testa, and people who actually need an animal to be taxidermied. I don't know what the crossover is, but. Um, Everybody knows who he is, and he's he's parlayed it into a lot of other things. A legend was born that day. Yes. Are you guys ready to move on? Well, that before you answer that question, I I, I don't want to touch my eye. I've got like yo, like a I can. You want me to touch no. your eye? Do I? Is, I'm gonna touch your is, eye with is this there, finger. Is there an eyelash in my eye? 
because it's like I, I want. I'm going to touch it with the back of my hand. We, veteran, you know you got to be strategic. Veteran right? move right there. I don't yeah. see a lash. Look, look closer at me. This eye. I think I, I think I moved whatever it was. It was just kind of like poking. Hmm. Hints of scurvy. So you guys are two of the most recognizable faces on the internet, but have also had some crossover success, whether it's this IFC show or the recurring appearances on Fallon. What is the difference to you guys when you put a video up that gets 5 million views versus being on Fallon? It's a different type of validation. The Tonight Show is an institution. There's a whole history of comedians going on there and it made or broke their career. But yeah, our minds are blown again and again where no matter where we go, people recognize us just because we're so accessible, thanks to YouTube. We went on vacation and we met a guy in Fiji, like we once we were done with our tour, and we get off the boat and this guy's like, Rick, Link? He was and a Tasmanian opium farmer. <laughs> And he watches the show. Every Isn't day. that nuts? <laughs> it is so nuts. A Tasmanian opium farmer. Yeah, so shout out to all the Tasmanian opium farmers. <laughs> We're big with them. <laughs> all right, so this next one is the Son of Zombie. Okay, that Son sounds more intimidating than mm -hmm. anything so far. The zombie is stirring. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's an immediate hit. Yeah. He's got some of daddy's DNA for sure. Smoky. Mm -hmm. It's like the fires of some sort of dumpster have grazed upon his flesh. This might induce a hiccup. Uh-oh. That's too, I'm too early for that, though. It might happen with you, especially. You feel like you need a hiccup? Um, well, I'm always on the verge. Good Mythical Morning, it's a YouTube institution. More than 1,300 episodes. In fact, so many that you guys had me drop in to guest host an episode. So this wing is for all the fans out there who've been saying, get Rhett and Link on Hot Ones, get Rhett and Link on Hot Ones, ever since we started. Boom! Yes. One guest that we've both had is Post Malone, and as I understand yes. it, he's such a big Rhett and Link fan that he watches Good Mythical Morning every day. What was it like <laughs> to have him in the studio? It was surreal. It was surreal, because when he said that, when he said, I watch the show every day, and I've been doing that for like four years, we were like, what, Post Malone is watching our show? And then, you know, if you watch the show on a regular basis, we feature a lot of the crew, a lot of the writers and other staff. And so he was like walking through the office and like people are like sticking their heads out, looking around to post money. He's like, what's up, Kevin? <laughs> what's up, Chase? He like knew everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, so when like, we're he's shooting. He's legitimately a fan. When we're, so when we're filming, I leaned over to him in the middle of it. I was like, hey man, I just want to let you know, it's really cool to have somebody as cool as you <laughs> like our show. <laughs> <laughs> he, and he's such a sweetheart. I mean, he's just a really nice guy. So it's also nice that nice people like us who are talented and, and, and musical. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-E-I-O, ooh. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-E-I-O, ooh. Oh, this is a, your proprietary sauce. It is. You could have said that. Are we already to that? You we already be, selling your stuff? You could have said that. I don't like to lead the witness, you know what I mean? Okay. I just let it be Available on the table. Available where? <clears throat> Heatness.com, heatness.com to order. Here's the thing, Sean. I knew that it was your sauce, but I wanted to create a natural conversation about it to mm. make a better plug because I really believe in selling merch, even if it's not mine. I appreciate that, just looking out for the wave. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Graham, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. And for you guys, we have a theme. As lifelong friends, we pulled some great Rhett and Link throwbacks. Okay. So we'll show you the throwback, and you just tell us the bigger story. Does right. that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, laptop, please. It's a good wing. It's got a, this is a good buyable sauce. <laughs> You're going back in. Purchasable. I'm, I'm pacing myself. I don't plan on finishing. All right. There we are. This is a famous photo from Rhett and Link lore. After going to summer camp for a week, Rhett's dad picked us up. He's the man in the middle. Mm -hmm. who's hit, both of his hands are visible. He's touching us appropriately. Um, Why would you even say that? I don't know. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I was just like, who's this weird man in between us? <laughs> yeah, that's my dad just, <laughs> with his hands on our shoulders. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about this is that after being at Camp Caraway for a one week, Link had not defecated the entire week. Right. Wow. Uh, I was we a little went, bloated. And, and we went straight to the zoo. <laughs> and let me just say, in this picture, Link has still not defecated. 
So when you look at that smile, just know there's seven days worth of shit. And let me tell you, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough not to defecate after a week of not defecating. When you go to a zoo and every animal you see is defecating. You had so much inspiration all around you and you still didn't visit the restroom. You waited until you got home. But we got matching t-shirts. We could have picked other ones. We didn't have to wear the same purple gorilla t-shirt, but those are the souvenirs that we purchased. Yes. That's what friends do. All right, this next one is a familiar foe. It's a black garlic and Carolina Reaper sauce. Oh, oh. Carolina Reaper. Now, here's the thing. If I'm... Smell it first. You know, once you have a... Yep. Oh, man. It has, yeah. a, it has a death smell. Once you yeah. have a bad experience with any food, not just hot food, your body makes a lasting imprint of it on mm -hmm. your brain. So then when you smell it again, in my case, if I smell that smoky death of Carolina Reaper, yeah. my stomach clenches up. Well, a lot of things clench up. Mm. So this is difficult for, for me to muster here. Ooh. That's letting you know it's, it's there. <sighs> it, it, it makes its, its presence known. It's nauseating to me. Mm. So you guys have worn many hats in the YouTube game, but I want to talk a little bit about the music videos. Hmm. What is the video that was the biggest pain in the ass to make? We used to conceptualize videos to imply that they were a pain in the ass to make to help them get more views. Like so. the Photoshop one, was that tough to make? It was the same principle that we used for uh, the T-shirt war, which is you. Use, which is also looks amazing. You it looks use like an, it's uh, very hard to do. An onion skinning program, basically. You take a picture, and then it puts a, it puts that picture over the next video image at like a fifty percent transparency, so you're able to look at the monitor and get lined up completely yeah. with your previous pose. And so we and would for T-shirt world that would that would that would allow us to take the shirt off, put on the next shirt with the new design, and then line ourselves up and take the next photo. And with the two guys. 600 pillows video that was really complicated because uh, it was too many pillows yeah well plus we did everything in reverse which is really difficult to lip sync something and then play it in reverse and have it seem like you're singing the song properly Get i'm getting ears. a tingling from this ear to this ear it's like a colony of ants are starting to migrate from my right ear over to my left ear while um Someone is wrapping barbed wire around my tongue and yanking it. Mm. You been to Bunsters? And they don't oversell it. Hot sauce, 16 out of 10 heat, but that's small. That's not possible. Whatever. Okay. What pepper is that in there? Scorpion and bird's eye chilies. Ooh. Oh, we had a scorpion. We, I've had a lot. I've had a bad, bad moment with a scorpion pepper. What that, happened that with was the scorpion pepper? That was actually the last pepper I ate whole and raw. For the first time, it was one of the worst experiences in my life, but I was able to continue to try at least to be entertaining. When I ate the scorpion, something had happened. Something had shifted. I'd all, I turned 40. I think that might be part of it. Uh, but I couldn't be entertaining. Unless just a grown man in a fetal position is entertaining. Uh, it was. Okay. I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> but it was it was, it was was absolutely horrible. I had a hard time talking. So you guys have been on the internet for over a decade strong, stacked billions of views, and won countless awards. So what I want to do is throw a couple career accomplishments at you, and you guys can tell me if it was a highlight or more of a low light. Does oh, that oh, sound good? Oh. Yeah. All right. Placing third in the TurboTax tax wrap contest judged by Vanilla Ice. Huge highlight. highlight. Huge highlight. We still own the like bedazzled medallions that are the TurboTax logo. Even after we placed third, we then engaged outside of the contest with another guy, the winner, who was a flute beatboxer. Yeah. And yeah. we did we did a series of rap battles back and forth because once he won, we we weren't happy. Yeah. You had to take the crown off the king right. and sit on the throne yourselves. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, I, and we did. <laughs> and and TurboTax is just sitting back there going, oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> they not, not paying us. They gave us medallion. We got paid in a medallion. Yeah. We're just setting a high school basketball record for hitting 77 three-pointers oh, in God, a season. Oh, God, don't get him started. How many? 77 three-pointers. And how many seasons? And just a just season. Just one season? Just one season. Where does it, that rank on your list of well, professional accomplishments? Does that record still hold at Harness Central High School? That's this what I was going to ask later? you. Does it still stand? Yes! No one's having even gotten close. 
So it means a lot to me. <laughs> it, means, it means way yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link, I know that you did score two unassisted goals in a soccer game one time. Using uh, my left, which is my left off foot, foot yeah. both times. And then Daniel yeah. Day-Lewis played him in that movie, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which was an amazing, amazing honor. <laughs> I would like to recognize the unsung heroes of basketball scorekeeping. Because, right, you, for the eighth grade girls team, you kept the score, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. You've done your work, John. <laughs> I would like to recognize all women's middle school basketball scorekeepers. Kudos to you. Not enough shine. Not enough shine. The layups don't stop. How about getting rejected by MTV's The Real World? Oh! <laughs> uh, no one. <laughs> How do you know about that? I love that you know about that. Um, that was, you know what? Uh, it was a low light at the time, extremely high light in retrospect. You might have dodged a... If I had gotten on the real world in 1994, that just would have been a bad time to show myself to the world in that way. How yeah. often do people partake in the liquids by this point? You know, it varies guest to guest. Uh, I just hit the milk. I just took a sip of the milk, but there's no shame in it, you know? Well, I I'm going to shame you for taking a sip of the milk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, then let's see if you get all the way through without it. Okay. Oh, all not. right. <laughs> I haven't taken any milk either. Okay. Oh, gosh. It starts to get, there's like a chemical quality to it. Mm hmm It's not tasty. Again, we're into a place that's not about enjoyment. It's getting, it's getting hard. Come, hey, we were having fun, man. This isn't fun anymore. You, this isn't fun anymore, Sean. Are you rethinking that milk pledge at all at this point? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh my God. Oh gosh, there it is. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get to where I can swallow, oh, but I don't know if my body's gonna let me swallow. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's going down. Oh, oh. oh gosh. All right, guys, you've known each other since 1984, attended the same school, the same high school, the same college. You've made hundreds of hours of videos together, but how well do you really know each other? Are there any skeletons in the closet? We'll find out now, and we're doing it Rhett and Link style. We've gamified the whole wing. No, 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 you gotta throw it? out the bucket of BFF questions. I'm drinking my milk. Thank you very much, Bill Link. Try not to puke in this one, because here's how it's going down. You can in shame here, me all you want. I'm, I'm drinking the milk. We have questions, and what you'll do is oh. you'll each draw a question and then read it to the other one. So, Link, you'll reach in, you'll pick a question, and you'll read it to Rhett. Rhett, then you'll reach into the bucket, pull a question, read it to Link. I got it. I'll go first. Uh. Oh. <sighs> And you'll ask Link. Link? What's your favorite swear word that you... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite swear word that you wish you could say more in GMM? <sighs> oh. Say it now, man. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> That's tough, man. Did you have a living, do you have a living will? And if so, did you say I'd be the guardian to your kids? Yes, I have a living will. <laughs> and I'm supposed to know the answer to this. I actually don't. No, you're not. You're not. Are we gonna get into this? Actually, the honest answer is between my brother and Jesse's sister, they like figure things out. And if the thing that they figure out is that my kids should live with you, then you will collectively make that decision. Oh gosh. Hey, you're not blood, man. I need to apply you're not to blood. be the godparents to your kids. Well, I made my will. Am I the guardian? I'm about to change it. <laughs> you're just exactly what you would say. See the comedy in that? <laughs> I don't. I'm not seeing the comedy in anything anymore. What was the real turn? 
two more wings on this thing. Uh-huh. Rhett, has there ever been a deal or endorsement that we've done together where you got paid more than me? <laughs> yeah. With who? <sighs> Excuse me, guys. It's just a faucet over here. Okay, here's the deal. We split everything 50-50. Put that down there. But for a long time, I managed our QuickBooks account. And there was one time, actually several times, where it came down to an uneven number of cents, and I always gave myself the other cent. <laughs> I thought, I'm doing the freaking QuickBooks. <laughs> My stomach is not wanting to cooperate here. You know, before we came here, breathe in smoke. We read an article about how to prepare for eating hot things, even though we've done it. I was like, what's the latest research on this? And in the article, it was just a bunch of pictures of you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Did you, did you learn anything helpful? Bread, carb load, carb load before. So I had a bagel a second ago. So you guys have tackled some big questions on your podcast, Ear Biscuits. Highly recommend to the viewer at home. And to give them a little taste, what we'll do is throw out some of those big philosophical questions to see where you stand now in 2018 and see oh. if you have a takeaway, okay? okay? Where do you guys stand on Whataburger versus In-N-Out? In-N-Out all the way. Texas has a lot to offer in the culinary space. Oh yeah. And they don't need to be pushing Whataburger to the front of that line. No. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that. There's a lot of other it's not things good. that are better. It's not good at all. Are magicians actually cool? <laughs> uh, no, they're not. We, we, they're not cool, and that's what makes them cool. If you're a magician out there, don't try to be cool. Just, wait, wait die camera? Okay. If you're a magician out there, don't try to be cool. Just be a magician. And then, uh, What's the best ridiculous but true Walmart story? Well, the most ridiculous Walmart story is the one that happened to Rhett when, when his first child was a baby. He, he was shopping in Walmart and realized he'd left his baby in the car. Okay, you make it sound really horrible. <laughs> okay, it wasn't one of those situations. It was an overcast day. I'd only been a father for a couple of weeks and I forgot that I had a child. It happens. Uh, and as soon as I he got was into exchanging Walmart, exchanging batteries. It, it, well, I, w I went into Walmart to exchange batteries, and then when I realized that my child was in the car, which is literally like three minutes after I went into the Walmart, I stole the batteries that I wanted and put the batteries that I was going to exchange on the rack and ran out. And he was fine. Yeah. And so I broke the law twice in one day, but everything ended up okay. So the moral of the story is, it's okay to break the law. It's okay to break the law, and it's okay to break the seal. because this is the uh, last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to. Why don't, you know, could you dab us? If you don't want to. In, sure, in, I love in, doing in that. A, in the way that you prefer. Yeah, just so the standard little dab yeah. thing. I don't want there to be any unnecessary arguments between the two of us over how much yeah. dab there is. How much going dab on. was going on? This is it, boys. This is it. It's an honor to have been here. Well, you know what? Depending on what happens, <laughs> I really like you. Hey, like you guys too. Cheers, cheers. Dink it, dink it, sink it, sink it. Sink it. That extra dab. There's a sweetness in there, right? Hold on. Mm -hmm. That's got some flavor. There's actually a taste. That's a difficult thing to pull off. I'm just telling you. These guys didn't pull it off. They didn't pull off the flavor and the heat at the same time. Oh. <clears throat> Caught you there, huh? Something. Mm -hmm. I hit a little speed bump. You know what's got a time release thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes back to you. Okay, Rhett and Link, here we are at the end of the line. Our mouths are on fire and it's time to cool them down, so what we're gonna do is bust out some of the most ridiculous nouveau flavored ice cream that New York has to offer. So we're cooling it down. We get right. to eat we're ice cream? We're bringing it up, and then now we're cooling it down. I like it. So what we'll do is try to guess the flavor 
Oh, are you making fun of us? <laughs> we are not. I'm not making fun of you. If I were making fun of you, maybe I'd say something like, which cream is the dream? Let's talk about it. But I'm not going to say that. Blindfolds, please. Oh, Ice cream, yeah. please. <sighs> Man, okay. I'm into this. All right, here you guys go. Don't touch the inside of your blindfold. Don't touch the inside of your blindfold. All right, so ice cream flavor number one. I didn't look at the color of it. Um, it's got a melon flavor. I was kind of getting some banana. <coughs> <laughs> oh. Horrible. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, <coughs> it's a, ban what is wrong with you, man? It's just ice cream. It's a banana. It's horrible. It's a, it's a type of banana dish that's got bananas in it, but it's not banana. Schumburger, what are we eating? Banana curry from Morganster. A banana ah. curry from Morganster. What, but what'd you give me? All right, one more ice cream to go. Is it the best? Will it wear the crown? We'll find out now. Is it there? It's there. All right, here we are. Oh, oh this uh, is a brilliant idea. This is a... Uh, Mm. Durian. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is durian. <laughs> this is durian. I can taste it right away. I I'm like durian. Stink fruit. Not big into the durian, but when your mouth's on fire, oh, any port in a storm, and look at you, Rhett and Link, all the way through the Hot Ones gauntlet. Woo! Now there's nothing left to do, Woo! but roll out the red carpet for you guys. This camera, this camera, or this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Oh, gosh. What do we this, do? Nah. Uh, we're Red and Link, digital influencers. You can catch us on the website, you, w, w, h, t, t, p, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www.youtube.com slash good mythical mort. I looked at that camera the whole time. <laughs> you say something to Sean's camera. We're Red and Link. I'm speaking into Sean's camera. Sean's camera's getting uncomfortable. HTTP. It's the new craze. Slash, slash, slash. www.youtube.com slash goodmythicalmorning. You can also get there if you go to youtube.com slash retinlink2. But that's confusing. <laughs> so don't do that. Wow, that was fun. That was that fun. was rancid. One million two. One million three. Yeah, that's pretty good form, Phil. Thanks. Where'd you get that cool shirt? You didn't hear? Hot Ones merch. It's available now. I thought you only wore Where's Waldo shirts. I used to wear Where's Waldo shirts. One.